After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? anything off yet darling <laughs> here let's warm you up a little bit so what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are it's the only thing on my father's mind how to earn his forgiveness get back to Metro and his old life the life you had always been running from and to think I never believed you and now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! All hands, report to the bridge! On the double! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog! Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak! When can you Let's get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it. sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter!
Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, that's all. Good luck, guys. Chemicals come first. Booze, fertilizer, shit like that. Then, of course, nuts, bolts, and other scrap. Collect that stuff and you can make basically anything. Well, you'll figure it out. The manual is inside. Yes, as for where to look, I found lots of stuff in Nosalis's lairs back in Moscow. When they get someone, they often drag the body there to feed their young. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A rabbit!
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed and welcome. Train. 
He's here to save us! I can't believe this! I had all but lost hope! We're not from here either! Silantius locked us up here a year ago! Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard! Silantius fooled them just like the locals, but unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. Have you seen the heretic sister? Of course. Have they hidden and found yet? So you have seen him? We have to find him, my children. Dr. Salanti has forewarned us about it. If you look at them, you will see technology. And that's a such a person that takes a hundred days of fasting and three hundred days of prayer to erase. So did you see him or not? I don't get it. Quit bothering me! What do you care if I saw him? There was a heretic in the church, but a sin! We need to pray it away, and you are distracting us! I, I'm sorry, we were just looking for him, and we... Ah, forget it! Go then, do the worthy deed! The Satan's spawn were not satisfied destroying the old world, so no doubt they want to bring their filth into our cloister! Down with them! Did you come here to take a look at our life? 
It's not so great. Fish be my witness. We've but one protector. Our Holy Father, Celantius. And it's by his prayers we're still alive. As if we didn't have enough mutants and electric demons. Now the bandits are upon us. They don't let us live or die in peace. You've got to pass through the bandits to take a body into the house of the fish now. Two days ago, one of the elders died. We had to beg the Holy Father to let us perform the rite. Three of the strongest men took the body there, and they never came back. Even though the Father said that the rite is for the soul, not the other way around. And now he's blaming himself. Even though he tried to stop them, he still let them go in the end. That's why he called the paladins in. You better go. Don't tempt good people into the scene of rage. The heretic? Ha! Well, just, just shoot me. Come on! I wish you'd just shot me. Ah, my daughter and my son are dead. Salantius wouldn't let us treat them. Katia, that ex-nurse, she said she could help them. But Salantius would rather let them die slowly. Vanya was smiling when he died. <sighs> he said his sister was calling out to him. And she'd been dead for two days already. Yeah, fuck this life. Just shoot me already. Come on, shoot me, you fucker. They say you worship the devil. That too. Will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me. They say that as soon as Father Salentius finished his sermon, there was a flash of hellish light and the heretic just vanished. <laughs> Did they smell sulfur? No, they didn't. But they say that the satanic machine has a magic sulfur in the middle of the air. Whoever gets seduced. 
What is making that noise over there? It's hiding the hey, what's that down there? Why would one throw cans around? It's as if they've never been to a mess. What's going on? Oh, I don't feel right. Oh my god. This is a punishment for our sins. It's all for our sins. For we have sinned gravely. Oh Lord, save us and have mercy. Oh Lord. Thank <laughs> you. 
starting to worry. You raised some hell in there. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I, haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs> Let's go from here. 
That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others... They have relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but... I could still be alive. Anyways... We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well... We'll have to live and see about that. Artyom, back from the uh, abyss of NATO You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable! <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, 
Where are you uh, from? This is in Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Uh, it must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Ah, oh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, reading with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no. It's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Silantius got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest. So the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement lair, so Silantius can't get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Hi, Artyom. Found the occupying forces yet? Grab them by their tails when you do. <laughs> Actually, I don't think a single man from NATO would ever be here. Save for me, of course. <laughs> Thing is, what would they even do here? I guess they could bomb the bridge if they wanted. Why set up a base here? They'd be in a city, not in this hellhole. If they even wanted to come. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you should go talk to him now. He did seem to want something. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. By the way, Alyosha, my friend. That Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? 
<laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged charm. I haven't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here, please. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one. And I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Let's get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau, from the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Are you still here, Artyom? You really should move out to port soon. Artyom, set out for the port once you've rested. I'd really like to talk to that mysterious mechanic. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> And don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. <laughs> <laughs> 